Generac IQ 2000 on uh, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I think this thing is going to struggle. Uh, I tried this last night in a preliminary and uh, it, uh, it threw the breaker. But we'll, uh, we'll try it for your sake and for video's sake. Uh, we'll get everything set up here. We are running in eco mode right now. Uh, 123 volts, 0 0.6 amps. We have nothing running on the, in running in the travel trailer. 77 decibels. All right, go ahead and hit the AC. You'll see that it's a slow buildup when that fan kicks on. The fan will run for about a minute with that time delay when that compressor hits. So 0 0.6, 124 volts. Okay, there goes the fan. So it dropped to 126 volts. We're reading three and a half amps right now. It was a little shaky there. And now again, we're gonna wait for that time delay when that compressor kicks on. Three and a half amps. Oh, there it goes. That's it, through a breaker. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't run it. It uh, didn't even rev up. Um, I'm gonna try one more time to give it a chance. I'll reset this and we'll go to full on turbo mode and try that way. Uh, but I anticipate we're gonna have a problem. There we go, we got the green. Uh, we're putting out 120 volt, four volts now, 0 0.9 amps. We'll try one more time uh, with it running full out. All right, try one more time. Okay, there we go. There's the fan, Three, 3.4 uh, amps, 122 volts, 85 decibels. Now we'll wait for that compressor to kick on. There it goes, whoa, down to 44 volts. Nothing, we threw the breaker. So uh, it didn't, didn't even get a second wind to pull it. Uh, we flipped the breaker again and that was running turbo mode full out. Same thing that I experienced yesterday. So uh, the Generac IQ2000 will not pull the 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We're in a relatively cool environment. I think right now it's probably 68, 70 degrees. So it's not a huge, huge load and still uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't run it. So next we're going to test the electric hot water heater and see if the Generac can handle that when we go ahead and reset this. All right, next we're going to engage the electric hot water heater uh, and see the voltage jump, amperage jump, and get a decibel reading as well. Uh, with nothing running on the inside except the refrigerator, which I'm about to turn off, uh, 122 volts. We're reading 3.7 amps right now, but that should go down as soon as we switch that refrigerator from uh, electric over to gas only. You'll hear that. Okay. So the fridge is on gas right now. There it goes. Just dropped. You can hear it. You can hear it throttle down. Reading 1.3 amps. Nothing else is running in the uh, travel trailer. So now we will go ahead and engage that electric hot water heater. Prior to doing anything, 81 and a half decibels. All right. Hit the uh, electric hot water heater. Okay, it pulls the electric hot water heater. Uh, 12 amps, 119 volts, almost 120, and you can see we're almost maxed out in the, on the power grid on this thing. Now, this is your little LED display of how much power you're taking in. 92 and a half decibels. Okay, off, and then uh, we'll go back on. So let's watch the voltage jump. So now that the electric hot water heater's off, uh, 121 volts. Our 123 volts, all right, back on. Drop down to 105 and now uh, back up to almost 100 and really slow recovery. This is the slowest recovery. Again, this is also the, one of the smallest units we're testing. We're almost completely maxed out. Look at that. We've hit the 100% bar here. So we're completely maxed out at 12 and a half amps, basically. This is the electric hot water heater. 12 and a half amps, 100, under 120 volts. Ninety-one decibels will run inside and get a decibel reading. Okay, we have the electric hot water heater on. We're gonna go ahead and sit where we would normally sit. Four 
41 decibels. So that generator is almost maxed out and we're still only reading 41 decibels. Ambient was 38 to 39. Uh, so you're only a couple decibels over ambient while that thing is maxed out running the uh, hot water heater. So we're gonna shut that off and now we will engage the microwave. Okay, now we'll engage the uh, microwave. Uh, reading 0 0.7 or 8 amps, 123, almost 124 volts. About 81 to 82 decibels uh, under eco mode with nothing else running. All right, go ahead and engage the uh, microwave. There it goes, slow build up. Slow four, now we get the surge. Really struggling. You can see we're almost maxed out on that LED. 11 and a half amps, it's pulling, and it's uh, 119, 120 volts over there. 90, 91 decibels. All right, shut it off, we'll try that again. You can see it really struggled to build up that power because that because that uh, microwave is a slow build up. You'll see it on the voltage as well as on the amperage and watch that power bar. All right, go ahead. Let's watch the voltage. You can see the slow build up down to 114 to then the kick in at 95 volts. You'll see that generator really powers up. We're up to 100% and it's really struggling. Now we've leveled out. 11 and a half amps, not even 120, less than 120 volts, 11 and a half amps, 89 to 90 decibels will run inside and get a decibel reading. All right, I shut it off because I want to show you that generator struggling to get up to speed as we start this. So just have two minutes on the clock. You can hear the generator just kicked on. Look, it. Yeah, we threw a breaker. So uh, I knew it was struggling uh, the last last time we tried that. So it won't, it won't pull it. Almost wants to pull it. Uh, I'll try one more time and uh, and flip it to turbo mode so it's running wide open so it's not such a load. All right, so I just took it off eco mode. I put it on turbo so it's running full out when we try to engage this. We'll go ahead and hit two minutes. Uh, it's you can it's 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 trying it's struggling to keep up. It's not running full out right now. So you see on the voltage meter and on the amperage that it's a slow buildup and that's when you're seeing that dimming on the microwave. And then once it finally hits that punch and we level out at about 11 and a half amps, that's when we're running. So I'll sit here where we normally would sit and get a decibel reading. Again, it's running wide open 100%. 45 decibels. You got a little bit of noise from the microwave, so it is a little bit louder than ambient. Uh, but again, we've we've maxed that thing out. 45 decibels. All right. Next, we are going to run the electric fireplace here. Now I'm going to try and run the electric fireplace. I'm going to tr attempt at first to drop this down to eco mode and then engage the electric fireplace. But we just had issues with the microwave running that way, so. We'll see what happens with that electric fireplace. I don't think it's as hard of a draw uh, as that microwave. Okay, so now we're back down to uh, idle under eco mode, nothing on in the travel trailer, 0 0.7 amps, 124 volts, 77 uh, decibels. All right, hit the electric fireplace. Drop down to 103 and now we're climbing back up to uh, 120 volts. We're reading 11, 11 amps, 11.8 amps. We're only at 90% on the LED indicator. Uh, the microwave was pulling 100%. And 88 to 89 decibels. All right, off and then we'll try it again. This time we'll watch the uh, amperage meter. All right, back on from 0 0.7, immediately up to 10, and then you level off about that 11.8 11, 11 mark. Uh, the leads just rattled out of that, but we already saw the voltage. 86 to 87 decibels will run inside and uh, get a decibel reading. So now we have the electric fireplace running. 
It's putting out heat. This has uh, two modes, high and low. We're running on high mode and we're gonna sit where we normally would sit. The generator is about 25 feet out of this slide. 41 decibels. So again, ambient was 38, 39. You're talking two or three decibels over. Uh, I definitely can hear the generator, but I can also hear that there's a little fan on that electric uh, fireplace, uh, but, but very minor noise. And as you'll see, uh, that generator was reading in the 90 percentile of, uh, of output. So it wasn't as significant as the microwave, a little bit quieter, um, and again, not as much power consumption. So now we are going to run your everyday appliances, your TV, your radio, charge some phones, charge a power bank, uh, and flip the refrigerator from LP back to uh, electric so that we're putting it on that generator. We're going to test your everyday appliances, your TV, your radio, your phones, your power banks, uh, the refrigerator we have now switched over to electric, 124 volts, 0 0.7 amps, and 78 decibels. All right, go ahead and turn the radio and the TV on. See, it's just a slow creep up. There's no actual surge. We're up to now one in 1.8 amps, uh, an absolutely very minor variation on the voltage. You could hardly even notice it. So 1.8 amps, 123 volts, and 78, 79 decibels. Uh, virtually no difference. We'll go inside and uh, get a decibel reading of, uh, of the inside with everyday appliances running. All right, so now we have your everyday appliances running, TV, we have the radio on, we have cell phones plugged in, we have a large power bank being charged, and our refrigerator is now on auto, which is pulling AC. We'll see where we would normally sit in front of the TV. I can hear the generator, but it is, uh, it's really, really quiet. 38, 39 decibels, so we're reading ambient noise. Again, I can hear it, but uh, it's so minor. You put that radio on or TV, or you're having a conversation with anyone, it's completely drowned out. 38, 39 decibels. This is GeneratorPowerSource.com, testing the Generac IQ2000. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us keep going, and we'll be back next time with more generator reviews.